Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't done a summon in a while. I've been talking too much about the event, but enough with the event for right now. I'm going to do my, I have a, the 10 full uh, summon uh, ticket that I haven't used. I was going to save them for the new banner, honestly, but I'm impatient and I like doing summoning. So I'm going to give you guys another taste of my terrible luck with it by using our uh, ticket. I mean, maybe it'll sh uh, prove us wrong. Maybe something else will happen. I've got an Ezolith twice on this account now. Um, that's as much luck as I am getting with the five star and it seems like it's just gonna stay that way Yep, looks like we're just getting rares. Is it more than one at least? Oh my god. It's just one <laughs> This game hates me the summons hate me. I hate the ten volts too. They never give me what I want oh, And it's a worm print. I hopefully it's a good one at least All right, let's just skip through these a little bit all right, let's see what we're gonna get a lot of baby dragons and for our worm print We are getting one with the shadows again at least I can I'm buying that All right, yeah, I have enough to do two more tenfolds, but I am gonna be saving those for the event itself Now this video is gonna be really short it seems so let's just do an event real quick Let's do the Avenue of power on expert mode because why not you guys? This is one of my favorite things to do. I love doing the Avenue of Power because all I gotta do is basically level up one character this whole time on there and then use all the other crystals I, ha uh, I keep getting to level up my other characters. So basically, I, I do all the grinding for Azalith. Uh, I get her stronger and stronger and then because of that, I get to use all my crystals to power up the rest of my team. And I really need to start uh, leveling up the main character a little bit better. He has been dying a lot in the story mode. I haven't been able to be playing all that much, so I haven't been and progressing uh, how much I want to so when it gets to the story it actually is upsetting and it looks like we might get stuck in this because of that one person all right he left so we will be able to uh, get into this hopefully with this next person awesome perfect now this is such an easy thing to do you guys can get through this so fast so if you guys ever feel like grinding something grinding the avenue of power is like one of my favorite things to do because you get your resources you get in you get out and almost every team you can get in there can beat this it's really hard to lose this in my opinion i have lost it though i'm not gonna lie because uh, i wasn't paying attention and not only that i still i just mess up these controllers so much sometimes it's terrible but yeah just go into the middle take out the baby dragon and hopefully Ezolith doesn't do what i my Ezolith does and just swings to the other ones all the time swing to the back and start taking care of these guys Guys, it's they're so easy uh, you just got to watch out for their uh, those little red marks obviously they're uh, big attacks because they're annoying and they stop you they drop you and that's one of the most irritating things about this game ah getting knocked back it's that being bog stunned basically anything that keeps you from using your uh, hidden powers is always probably one of the worst things that can happen to you in this game and I did it anyways oh well I recovered those rats are the most annoying thing in the world because just like I was saying I hate things that knock me down and like the rats perfect example all they're meant to do is knock you down look at this thing let it die there we go and now I always like to use my special right here because I hate this little worm thing and plus I can take care of everyone with Ezolith basically and it seems like I failed all right and then we just come back over here take care of these enemies I usually uh, yeah the rats show up on the expert you get like four rats I think three or four it's annoying as all hell but you guys can deal with that so easy all you got to do is get them these things are more annoying in my opinion because they're stupid status effects just kill them off kill the rats and you, this is so easy I don't even know why I have to explain this to you then final wave dragging up because why not let's just wipe them out see look at that perfect finish taking out the silver dragon Woo! <laughs> all right so this extended the video a little longer. I hope I kept you guys entertained. I, like I said, doing the Avenue of Power is one of the best things you can do to help level up your characters. It also helps your might if you uh, keep your team balanced. Uh, using the crystals on everyone else, allow you use this to uh, the experience basically level up. Not only that, you keep, to keep leveling up your player level, which is fantastic because it just keeps giving you more wings and it keeps giving you more stamina and it just stacks. I don't think I've ever dropped below like all the stamina that I've been given because I do I do the events a lot more than I do the story. Um, and then I, because I, I love getting the crystal so I can use them to level up the rest of my team because um, while they're just sitting in the background, I can use this stuff to just constantly level them, which is great because you want a pretty even team. 
I, I, I keep them mostly even. I do I do favor Ezolith, obviously, so I keep her a little maxed out. Um, that's just a personal preference, though. You, If you want, you can level up a whole character and just have her grind for everything easier and easier. I like to keep my team even because I, when I go into the, the actual story, I like to make sure that I can beat it. And when I get into the hard mode, I don't want to be suffering because one of my team members is just dying all the time. It's, it's not what I want for the, from the game. And you guys aren't going to want it either because you, you want to complete it with all three crests so you can get the most out of it. And it's just... It's just better to have a pretty even team. Make sure you're working on your mana circles, your uh, castle and everything. Oh, but uh, I didn't uh, see that until later because I fell asleep right after I said it. The Loyalty Requiem did get the date announced. It actually gave us the information for anyone who cares. Uh, you guys can possibly, you've probably already seen it, but it is right here in there telling us the information on when it's going to happen, what time. Uh, it's 1 a.m. for me because it's uh, I'm in Central Standard Time, and it's going to be 11 for Pacific Standard Time, which is what they uh, like to say in their website but i like that they actually update for you uh yourself so i get to know that's when the game resets for me it tells you a little bit about it and uh anyways that's all i really got for you i will be doing more tenfold summons for you guys when the next banner comes on so when the event uh, happens on the october 4th but for now this is what i have i'll probably post another video for you guys later i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet uh, i'm not doing any of those beginner guides or anything like that like other people are doing and the main reason for that is just for the fact the game hasn't been out that long I I want to learn everything the ins and out and there's a lot of people who figured out a lot of it but there's still a lot of people who constantly are going in correcting themselves and i'm just like let me get this together let me do it in a video where not only do i actually have like full uh a full screen so I can uh, break down things better for you and not just have this uh, the, the way I have it on my screen which is just the phone uh, the game because well like I said I've been doing this while I'm at work anyways I'm rambling uh, uh, but just if anyone's curious, that's why I haven't done ba uh, any beginner's guides or anything like that. Just for the fact that I don't think there's the information is still out out there. I want to get more information done. The big, I mean, there's enough things you can just learn while you go through the game. And I don't really think like we need to hold your hands. For anyone who is new and wants to know, I'm totally there to answer any questions. You can just leave me a comment. I'll I'll make sure to reply and I'll, I'll give you the information you want. But anyways, for now, that's all I have, you guys. I'll take uh, take care. I'll talk to you guys later.